Hello everybody, I'm Audie Hemora and welcome to my YouTube channel, All Discovery, where we discover great performances, we discover new talent, and also older or more established, very popular people that you love so much, but something that you don't know about them. So we discover something new about them. And I have the perfect specimen. Okay, and, uh, it's not going to be one person, it's going to be a couple. Um, I'm very happy to say that uh, the other half, one half, I've known for quite some time, uh, 20 years not to be exact. I mean, he started with us as a young man, fresh out of college, nag workshop siya one summer. We discovered him because he's angkad, ang guapo, magaling kumanta. Tapos, uh, we signed him up to be a commercial model. Um, he clinched a couple of commercials. And then uh, he joined the theater um, with the theater group that I work with, Trumpets, and he was uh, a chorus boy. Hindi pa siya lead noon. And he was under heavy makeup, so nobody really discovered him. But soon after that, people just couldn't help, but he was the crush ng bayan, ng buong cast. So para it came to be very clear na my star potential tong tao na to. And so 17 years ago, we launched his career. I'm very happy to have been part of that wonderful uh, career. Um, so I guess you know who I'm talking about. The other half, however, I met about four years ago. Kasi uh, Christian is very good at hiding his girls. Oh, sabi ko na pangalan. Uh, and so I met her four years ago. And nung nakilala ko na finally, sabi ko ah. He has met his match. So, nasabi ko na rin naman ang pangalan. Please welcome. You know him as Christian, but I'm going to introduce him as Christian and Kat Bautista or Mr. and Mrs. Bautista. Hi, Dottie. Kala ko si Sam Conception. <laughs> Nako, hindi pa siya couple unless you know something I don't. <laughs> I'll text him. We'll reply anyway. in a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm so happy. Hey, thank you so much. I know you you guys are so busy. Kat, I know you're working all week. And uh, alam ko Sabado or Sunday is your rest day. And to give me a, uh, maybe at least an hour, thank you so much. Thank you for having us. Super appreciated. We're excited. Yeah, <laughs> I am too. Well, anyway, this interview is not about Christian, although binanggit ko siya. This, this interview is about the two of you because you are now a couple. Diba sabi nila when you went. When you are uh, a couple, it's you're, you're merged, you're one. So this is, interview is uh, about you as a Mr. and Miss. But before that, um, dahil kilala nga si Christian, Kat, hindi ka ganon pakakilala. So ipakilala mo muna ang sarili mo. Before you met Christian, just before you met Christian, tell me about your life. Who were you? What, you know, what was your life about? Uh, your family life? What were you interested in? Uh, were you working already at that time? Just give us a background about yourself. Um, so speaking of my life before Christian, it involved this beautiful princess, Chito. She's been in my life for uh, oh, going on 17 years now. So I'm Kat. I'm an oh. Yeah, 17 years. I, um, I, she took her home with me when I was living in the U.S. So she was my pet from when I was living in California. Um, oh, wow. So yeah. That was a big part of my life. I used to live in the U.S. I went to college there. I worked there uh, for about 10 years. And then I moved back to the Philippines, started working for an amazing uh, corporation and um, have been there now eight years. Um, I've always been kind of the same, uh, uh, sporty, uh, loves fashion. Um, my life really is about fitness. Um, I come from um, a single parent household. So it's a small family, my mom. Chino, mm -hmm. my sister, uh, and myself. So it's just been the 3.5 of us for many, many years. Um, yeah. Uh, what are things that I like? Uh, I've, I've played tennis since I was, gosh, six or five. I played competitively. Um, wow. I, yeah. Um, I, I, I played the violin and the, the cello. Ooh. Most people don't know that about me. Um, <laughs> I stopped playing. Yeah, that, that, that sounds to me like a future music video. Christian singing <laughs> and then you playing the cello. <laughs> I haven't played it already since I was 18. I dropped out of uh, orchestra when I was 18. I went off to college and um, tried other things out. Um, what else? I love to surf, uh, run, work out, um, cool. cook. Yeah. I'm I'm not that interesting, I guess. You are. Are you yeah, kidding you are. me? That's that's like a, a, a that's already a Cat Bautista show right there. <laughs> <laughs> Were you living in the states by yourself? 
my I was living in the states by myself from two thousand uh two to 2006 my sister then came uh in 2006 and then we uh moved in together uh after that so uh, we were together from 2006 to 2012 so in the u.s young age you were already very independent always been extremely independent um i remember when i was uh younger when i was a kid my mom was like oh what do you want for uh for your birthday and I was like I want checkbooks and a cash register so <laughs> as a kid I had very strange interests okay. um so you know, always been very independent okay that's a great start at least we know a little bit more about you Christian naman sa panahon na bago mo nakilala si si Kat okay alam natin sa industriya natin di ba na pag matinay idol ka syempre oh. ang 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 paghanga sa iyo ng mga fans mo ay parang meron silang chance na maging girlfriend mo o maging asawa mo one day so there was there's really a uh, did you reach a point at that time before you met Kat na parang feeling mo na may kulang pa rin? I mean, you were at the top of your game. Wow. Were you already looking for someone? Yeah, were you? Were you? I, that's a good question. Were you? I guess uh, there was a certain time and maybe an age after you've done so many things already. Uh, the next step is uh, to settle down. and. There was a few maybe months or years na, na I was waiting for the right time. Uh, not exactly frantically searching. Just mm. being uh, ready. Just being uh, preparing myself as well. Uh, when I meet uh, that person, I will be ready as well. Uh, uh, emotionally, physically, financially, or whatever. Until that uh, day happened when I met Kat. Ano kayo nakakilala? Ah, uh, okay. Well, we met a long time ago in an award show. And I completely forgot that we met in an award show. And then we met again after a few years in ano, uh Breakout, Breakout Manila. It's a, it's an escape room. It's a place where uh, you, your family, or your friends can basically play a game or solve puzzles. And uh, a common friend invited, you know, different kinds of friends. And I remember her when I saw her because of an article in Inquirer, but completely forgot that we met years before. So sabi niya sa akin, para, hey, we met already in an award show. So, I my, my memory is kind of bad. I need like cues, I need signals all the time. So I said, Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. But I completely forgot. Then uh, during that time, uh, I realized that wow, she was so smart because she was solving one clue after the next. So I talaga sabi ko, man, kailan maging uh, kaibigan kami nito. Do you, have, do you have another version or am I leaving some things out? <laughs> <laughs> feel What's free to jump in, ah. Kat, feel, feel free, free to jump in kung meron siya mga detalye na nakalimutan. Or at least from your perspective. Ano, ano, ano? He's leaving out the juicy, cheesiness portion. Something. Give me the juicy, cheesy portion. The juicy, cheesiness portion is when we met in the award show. I was 50 pounds heavier. So nice. I was like I was I used to be a uh, he much heavier set. I used to be 93 kilos. So when he met me, I looked different. So uh, when when we uh, reconnected a few years later, he didn't realize I was the same person. Na parang I was that girl. So that's why he always says I didn't remember her. He didn't recognize me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I lost maybe about you know 45 kilos uh, from when we had met and I had a different haircut so he didn't realize it's the it. hair it's the haircut yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> teka, teka. how did you lose that that weight or is um, it just maybe, was it baby fat or maybe you were just no, young no 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 <laughs> so, I'll share this with you I've always been very conscious of my diet you know growing up and then I went to America the land of enormous portions and I yeah. didn't realize that you know I oh and I had never done my laundry before so I go to college and this independent girl who used to you know ha, come from a home that had 
uh, people that helped her with her laundry or help prepare food. So I had never been out on my own yet. So yeah. I thought I was shrinking all of my clothes in the laundry. Hello. <laughs> I was gaining weight because of my newfound love of Taco Bell and Jack in the Box. <laughs> so I gained the weight in college. So yes, I I, I can relate to that. When I was in Soler, I just kept, I blossomed also. It's really your environment, diba. Right? Well, great. So, I mean, so. What my mom said when she saw me. When she saw me after, like, my freshman year of college, because I wasn't able to come home for a year, she looked at me, she goes, who ate my daughter? <laughs> I love so, it. <laughs> Rotan. I was Rotan. No, but how did you lose that weight by the uh, time you met Christian? Payat ka na. Yes. Um, I lost the weight, actually. So I feel like there's a fallacy with dating, uh, dieting here in no. the Philippines. People think rice is bad, right? Or, uh, ng rice, rice, kumakain na lang ako ng bread kasi mas okay ang bread. But what I realized is there's a food pyramid, right? If you look at all nutrition books. And, and the, the I, diet, right? Part of the word diet is die, right? Who wants? I don't want to die, right? I, I realize that dieting... Yeah, die, don't die yet. <laughs> don't die yet. <laughs> Di- dieting is not sustainable. Um, yeah, sustainability okay. is being able to eat everything in that food pyramid um, and being able to do that for the rest of your life. So what I did was I made sure that all of my meals had something from that food pyramid, mm-hmm. um, but I just decreased the portions. So instead of eating from what, let's say I was eating 3,000 calories, I went to 2,500 and then to 2,000 and eventually down to about 1,500 calories. I lost about 40 kilos without going to the gym just from reducing my food intake. Yes, I removed alcohol. I stopped drinking. Um, I quit smoking cigarettes. I've been uh, cigarette free for almost over a decade now. Um so yeah, it's uh, it's just about reducing it. From my last maybe five kilos, that's when I went to the gym and fell in love with the gym in the process. I became a runner um, on that journey. But before that, just calorie counting and you know eating for sustainability, not to achieve a result. And that's what really helped me. That mindset switch. So Christian, I'll give you a chance to make bawe. Ngayon, nung nakita mo the new her. Did you fall head over heels? Did you say this woman's so beautiful? Anong, anong, anong unang uh, impact? Sabi mo smart, but physically, were you attracted? Uh, yes, uh, immediately, of course. Uh, so, ando na nga yung smart, and then ang ganda pa. And then later on, nung nakilala ko siya as a friend, uh, driven and so many good qualities as well. Talaga, uh, I, I really had to get to know her para deeper than that. Okay. I believe you. I believe you. You know, Kat, I mean, Christian, I mean, I, I hope you don't mind if we go back to the past, but I've known Christian since his early uh, adulthood. So I, I've known all the girlfriends he's been through. Yeah. Ang lahat yeah. ng mga naging past relationship niya. No, I have a point. Huwag kayo mag-away, ha? I have a point and it's, it's going to... It's going to go to you, Kat. Okay, I have a point to make. I want to please me. Tell me. <laughs> no, no, it's not that. What a point lang that I wanted to make was that um, a lot of the past relationships of Christian happened in the workplace, right? I mean, somebody that he worked with. In other words, convenient sa kanya na nandun na yung girl. Magkasama sila parate. They were in a project together. So madaling ma-in love. Madaling ma-fall for somebody. Now, for him to fall for somebody who was not in his immediate circle or is not in his work. Place, speaks lots. That means interested in you because you're interested in me. Am I right? Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, why, Christian, what did you, what did, okay, sinabi mo na lahat, pretty and everything, but did it hit you as early as that na sabi mo, okay, pwede to, pwede to maging girlfriend? And ano muna? Ang... Matagal, matagal kasi ako eh, usually. So, yeah. <laughs> Sobrang tagal. <laughs> so, friends muna. Friends, getting okay. to know. Ganyan. Wait for the right time. Ganto, ganyan. Maybe like a year. Maybe what? More than a year or two. Yes. Tama ba? Yes. So long. <laughs> so wait, wait. Ano, ano yan? When, when getting to know, parang hindi date? Parang you'd go out just as friends? As friends, uh, in a group. Ganon. Ganon muna. Kasi, uh, I really want to get to know the person first. 
I, I, I also want to know uh, the deeper stuff all the time. Kaya some people parang find it too intense agad when I when I ask like hard questions or when I look for a certain type of uh, maturity agad. And at the same time, uh, I also wanted to show her who I really am as well. Uh, not just the entertainment side, but who I am as a province, who my family is, who my friends are, who I really am, before establishing uh, a proper uh, romantic connection. That's okay. how I did it. Yeah, but it was really long. Very long. Did you already know he was a celebrity when you met him? No. Okay. So here, when I met him at the award show, um, I had I saw him and I was like, oh, this person is an attractive looking person. Who is this, right? And so parang the uh, the uh, person I asked just said, oh, he's some singer. So I didn't know <laughs> some singer. <laughs> what kind of singer? Because I we didn't stay for the whole show. We started dating, right? And I was in the office. I was killing, right? And I, my office mate was like, girl, but how happy mo? And I'm like, there no a date. <laughs> and so she's like, oh my god! And then I was like, girl, I'm cute. It's like, pagita ang picture, I'm like, girl, I'm guapo. And I showed her, and she goes, ha ha ha, no, seriously. And I'm like, no, that's, <laughs> that's Christian Bautista. I'm like, yeah, how did you know? She goes, Google. So my coworker <laughs> back next to me, we typed his name, and I Googled. I'm not ashamed. I went through every page. We went, it was like a three hour wormhole. I went through every text him. I was like, why didn't you tell me? I know. Eh, bakit ko naman sabihin, di ba? So, parang, hey, I'm this guy. <laughs> Wait, so, so, seriously, parang, Christian, the whole time you were dating, you never told her, I'm a singer, I'm famous. <laughs> Wala naman ganun. <laughs> ano lang, wala, I'm a singer, ganyan, this is my, this is my song. <laughs> Sorry, sinadya niya, you know when he would pick me up, hindi niya ginagamit yung kotse niya, his nice car. He would oh. use his old beat-up van that had holes oh. in the seats. And for for a tambakan in the back and like mabaho yung van, so I really oh. that, that belief na parang this is a struggling you know up and coming <laughs> singer. You know every penny counts. So I would always that was what was in my mind. So I knew he was in an industry, an artistic industry. I didn't know the scale. My coworkers taught me about the scale, and man, did I do my research after that. <laughs> So did that change? Did you change uh, your your view of him when you realized that he was not struggling? He was actually quite successful. He was top of his game. Sabi niya, what 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 mo ako pinagbabayad na mga ano? Restaurant. Nag share na ba ako? Hello, sa swell dumo sa corporate. I mean, you could it. So parang we were. It was a big laugh for me, but I think. For us, it was a it was new terrain for both of us. For him, he had never I don't think he had dated somebody like you pointed out earlier that didn't know who he was, right? Mm. So I think and 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 I may be spinballing here, but I think he enjoyed that, right? Na parang this girl is getting to know me for me, right? Yeah. Not everything that comes with uh, my career. And for me, the man, I was getting to know uh, he was getting to know me as. Christian or Ayan, right? Not as Christian Bautista. So I appreciated that. I did not appreciate me paying for the dinner. Hindi naman lang. Mga 80% lang. Yeah, it was, it's, it's, it's interesting kito, Adi, kasi there's no, there's nothing in life that prepares you, a normal person like me, for a unique experience like this that of dating a celebrity. There's no course. There's no map that, that will tell you these are the nuances in life in your life that will now change, right? Um, so uh, I thought about it, right? And I, uh, being of the person I am, I tried to imagine what it what it could be, um, but it turned out to be very very different. And I found in the process the best teacher was him. He really taught me how to navigate this new world because I've never had an experience like this before. So yeah, nice. interesting. Christian, tanong ko sa'yo, alam mo naman natin, di ba, in the past, with your other, um, it was a big struggle, others, rather, it was a big struggle kasi ang struggle kat parati with, uh, with a celebrity, yun nga, dahil nga ang, ang selling point niya is that he is available, is that, it's, you know, the fans are very jealous. 
So, Christian, how did you manage? Is that the reason why I didn't know about Cat for a long time? And did you did you have to manage it so that not too many people knew that you were actually already uh, together? No, I think uh, nagbago na yung culture, uh, yung dating culture na every celebrity has to be single. Kunyare, pinatago, hindi na uso yun. Uh, that has totally oh, changed, especially with the. Uh, with the social media generation, YouTube, ganyan, the more genuine and unique you are, mm. uh, the more people will like it. And also, I also have a personality kasi na, na introversion. So I'm an introvert. So bago ko rin ipakilala uh, kung sino man ang kasama ko or what I do, para I do my checks first or parang sinesecure ko muna na, na this will work. Ah mm-hmm. uh, kasi ang hirap din kung like every year meron akong bagong date for me ah. I mean, not sure. judging any, anyone else who dates every year pero in my case para uh, I I wanted to take it slow as well. So uh my fans naman are very nice and kind especially now pag nag uh, nag live stream kami ni Kat sometimes on Kumu talagang they look for her. Uh, nice. they they love it when she's there so talagang uh, uh, yun ang uh, nangyari good wait sabi mo Kat ang tagal bago niya pin up yung question when was the exact time he finally asked you to go steady November 18 wow uh, November 18 what was the year 2016 2016 I think November 18 pre-COVID uh-uh. <laughs> please pre-COVID he, uh, you know, can I tell you, it was like one year of like dating or I think parang friendship or whatever. November 18, when he finally asked me to be his girlfriend, it was because I initiated it. I was so fed up. I turned to him. I was like, can you just ask me to be your girlfriend? And then he was like, uh, will you be my girlfriend? I was like, yes. And I slammed the car door. <laughs> He felt so guilty that I had like gotten so fed up with it that he wanted to ask me to be his girlfriend at Burger Machine because I love Burger Machine. They set up sana ako. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It is, so, so we parked like in the middle of Makati in this, you know, not so desirable place and walked to Burger, uh, Burger Machine and the lady was not minding us. As in, we were like there for maybe like 25 minutes, 15 minutes, trying to get yeah. her attention, not minding us at all. So we said, oh, okay, let's go to Shakey's. Well, he said, and I didn't know he had, he felt so guilty about what had happened. So we walked to Shakey's and over Pepperoni Crunch and Mojo's. Wow. <laughs> his girlfriend officially so that the memory wouldn't be me slamming the car door and saying, will you, will you just ask me already? So a call <laughs> happened. So uh, every year, that, that's why our wedding anniversary is on, November, our wedding was November 17. We wanted to time it right next to our anniversary for two reasons. One, symbolic, and two, so that he won't forget. <laughs> available yung <laughs> thing. Oh. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Teka, I, I just have a, an off question, okay? Uh, looking back now, Christian, if we can look back now on your many music videos that nakilala mo this beautiful lady who's, who's going to be your leading lady for the rest of your life, who, if you chose any music video that you've done in the past, where would you have cast Kat as the leading lady in any of these Boy, videos? That's a good question. Wow. That's a good one. Uh, beautiful girl. Easy. Uh, <laughs> obviously, no? Oh, eh, kung sa musical naman, sa lahat ng mga musicals na ginawa mo, where would you have wanted to act across her? Opposite uh, her? Uh, well, konti na naman yung musicals ko. So siguro, ano, uh, let's go with siya si, ano, si Cinderella. Ako si Prince Charming. Wow. <laughs> oh, I think you're gonna go for Ram- Akala ko Rama, Rama Hari kasi siya yung may Indian background. Oh, wow. I thought you was like, well, I have Princess, part of the Princess genetics. Cinema. <laughs> okay, so let's go na straight to when did okay, so you finally became boyfriend and magjo na kayo. Gano katagal yung, yung relationship na yon before you started to think, okay, this is the girl I'm going to marry. A few years then. <laughs> Tinagalan ko rin. Kasi syempre, ang kasama nun eh, uh, meeting the family, bringing her to, you know, 
Christmas reunions, yung mga ganun. So talagang, it's, it's a big step. So, um, what I did was, pinakilala ko siya sa family ko, not through a dinner, but through tennis. Kasi the Bautistas really like to play sports. Mm, perfect. So, lahat. Si Mama, si Papa, Joshua, Jordan, lahat. Because my dad taught us any sports. Isai. So, talagang, uh, we went to a, a club that has a tennis court. Hindi ko muna sinabi na tennis varsity pala siya. Para wow. ma-impress sila lahat. And wow. then, yun na, nung nagkaroon na sila ng connection, and then we had dinner. And then, inintroduce ko na uh, si Kat. So parang, kasi kapag pag dinner agad, parang may formality, tapos pag public, parang may hiya kayo to share kung ano talaga yung, uh, you know, totoo or what. So pinagod ko muna sila lahat. Nung pagod na pagod na sila lahat, yan, labas na yung mga katotohan. <laughs> Fantastic. That's a good uh, strategy. Obviously. You come from, you're a biracial uh, child uh, coming from an Indian community. Uh, and we know that the Indian community, um, they do mix, I mean, they have like fixed marriages and stuff like that. Did you feel any pressure from maybe you, your dad's side of the family or the community that you had to find somebody of the same uh, community? So I was raised by a single mom. Um, my dad really wasn't in the picture a lot. So my exposure to the in the Indian community was very, very uh, minuscule. I grew up very Filipina and very American. Uh, Filipina because my mom is, is Filipina and Irish. Uh, so her values are very Filipina. Um, mm. And American due to um, my grandfather having um, Irish roots uh, and uh, serving in the military and from um, Detroit. So having that um, as part of my uh, culture growing up and then living in the U.S. So I was raised always uh, with the mindset of, well, when I grew up uh, Catholic, uh, First Communion, uh, Confirmation, uh, Confession. Um, I even sang in the church choir only because my mom bribed the, the church choir so I could sing, not because I was good. but So I grew up <laughs> very Filipina. So I always had the mindset that I was, um, what's it called, going to be in a, relationship with somebody that was of partial or full Filipino descent. I did not, however, necessarily believe in marriage because I grew up in a single parent household. I did not have an example of what marriage looked like. So I understood independence at a very young age, uh, which is why I've always um, had a very strong work ethic. And I've worked since I was 15. I mean, like I did everything. I sold vacuums. I wrapped gifts. I did. I did everything. Uh, so when it finally came down to meeting Christian, that was the first time uh, with you know in within a relationship that marriage and the possibility of marriage entered my mind. My mother always supported whatever vision I had for my future in terms of partnerships. Um, and when it changed with Christian, she was very supportive as well. I was never pressured to find a partner. Um, and I was never not pressured to not find a partner. My mom always supported my decisions in life. And I totally love her for it. Now, let's talk about your proposal. Because to me, that proposal is like a fairy tale. <laughs> it's funny. It's, it's, like, it's like a Disney movie. So, can you tell me about your proposal? I mean, I, I know you've talked about it before, but marami pang hindi nakakalam. And nakakakilig and it's so amusing. Uh, we, decided, we decided to have a, a trip in Europe. Um, ang ibig sabihin ng we decided to have a trip in Europe is meron na akong trabaho sa Europe and hahabol na lang si Kat para makatipid okay. um, ng flight. So, uh, inintay namin na matuloy or matapos yung uh, tour sa Europe and then she would just follow and we would meet in uh, Greece. Uh, we've always wanted to go. Also, kahit na naiwan siya doon ng mga one day uh, alone to, uh, and that was like your first time Two to, days. to travel. Two days alone. Two days alone. Uh, then, nakihabol ako and we discovered uh, Athens together with Santorini. Uh, she will give the full details later on. Ako yung, I'm the general guy. <laughs> and then, uh, pagdating sa 
pagdating sa Italy, punta kami sa Italy, sa Venice, which was so beautiful, uh, I decided na I was parang waiting for the right parang location or spot para so where I. to propose or when to propose. <laughs> Pero she will tell the, the, the fuller story in a while. Leading up to the trip, um, it's very interesting because um, his mom was messaging me a lot, which she does, but there was a message na parang, are you going to get a manicure before you leave? And I was like, why? Like, that's, that's just... That's not. That's just not a common message that um, Tita Tita Joe would send, right? So it's yeah. a very strange message. But I was like, hmm, <laughs> I wonder, right? So then that so nag manicure, right? The eyebrows, right? I was like, hmm, maybe. Anyways, uh, going to the airport, uh, Christian had organized this um, for his uh, driver to pick me up and take me to the airport because he was already in Europe. The car arrives and the whole family is in the car. And I had no idea. As in Josh, Jordan, the Jody, the everything he said. And they're like, surprise! And I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, barring guys here. We're going to the airport. And the whole time in the car, the Joe was like holding my hand and like saying, you know, we love you and things like that. And then Christian's brother Josh turns to me, he goes, I have a feeling after this trip, your life is gonna change. And I was like, mm-hmm. <laughs> expectations are now raised. <laughs> I am ready. I am done with the eyebrows and the nails. I am ready. So we go. I, I, I'm I in Greece first. He meets up with me after a few days. And we are on a boat. He, no, no, no. We, what did we do first? The yacht, right? Yacht, yata. Oh, yacht, yata. So it, it was, was a group package, pero buti na lang dalawa lang. <laughs> so, so when, yeah, we landed in Santorini. And it was like, yeah, you see Santorini and like, pictures it's white and it's pristine and there's sun and there's blue roofs no it was gray and raining when we arrived and so i was crying I was like, what are you doing right <laughs> the next day he's like babe making a trip i rented a yacht ako parang si christian sobra siyang correct nagrent ng yacht eto na yung girl <laughs> ito na ito na ito na <laughs> Hepburn outfit as in <laughs> may scarf pa ako na tinayin wow. ko right? and I was like I'm ready to be proposed to as Audrey in my in the character of Audrey Hepburn <laughs> so we're having a great time on the yacht eating dancing you know uh, our hosts on the yacht dance. Oh, great. Weird. I remember uh, Christian went swimming in the Aegean Sea very cool um, we had a great time and then at 6 o'clock they were like hey I just want to inform you that you know the sun is set we're headed back to shore so they're in the Christian. I'm like, sure, ka. we're going back to shore. And he's like, yeah. So we go back and I'm sad. Like, oh, it didn't happen. But you're going to feel this uh, time. <laughs> it's a It's a yacht. It's a water. What's the ring with you? Uh, yes. 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 Okay. Uh, okay. So then the next day he's like, I'm renting um, a car and we're going to go drive through the vineyards and hike up a mountain. So I was like, oh, mountain, vineyards, him, and adventures. Tito Ori, I wore a dress. I wore a dress and sandals to hike up a mountain so I would look cute. Oh. I hiked up a mountain. <laughs> Nahirapan ka umakyat. <laughs> oh, yes. But was I showing it? No way. Nakangiti. <laughs> Oh my God, how am I going to climb up this mountain? There are pebbles in my saddle. <laughs> so scaling this mountain, and it had beautiful, um, the soil was red. That's so right. imagine just red hills and mountains. It was, it was stunning. It's really Overlooking stunning. Overlooking the ocean. So in my mind, I'm saying, girl, when Romantic. you hit the top and he proposes, your dress is going to look immaculate against this background, right? We get to the top and he's, he comes up to me and he's holding his camera. And I'm like, oh my gosh, he's filming me, etc. <laughs> to me. And then he's like, can you take my picture? Uh-huh. <laughs> For the gram. I was like, that's what you <laughs> want to ask me. <laughs> On top of the mountain, can you take my picture? So yeah, picture, picture. But it's, I took her picture. Didn't you? <laughs> he took pictures her on his Instagram. You can see. Uh, so then after that, we flew to Venice, right? Yes. We flew to Venice Italy. the next day. When we got to Venice, we landed, we got out of the plane, and the airline had lost his luggage. 
Uh, all his luggage. So DM me for what airline? So, <laughs> so the airline after losing his luggage, Christian gets angry. And Christian, if you if you know him, he never gets angry. You know us. I'm always angry. He's always happy. So he was <laughs> furious, and I couldn't figure out why. And I remember turning to him and being like, "Why are you upset? It's just clothing." And as soon as those words came out of my mouth, oh. I wanted to grab them, and I realized, "Oh my God, they're ring is in the luggage." Okay, to explain, ayoko ilagay sa hand carry kasi baka makita sa x-ray. Bad idea. Do not put your jewelry in your luggage. So our, his luggage ended up in Switzerland? Belarus or something oh, yeah. like that. Oh yeah, Belarus. Belarus, something sorry. Like that. So with a B or Belgium. Something his like luggage that. ended up in Belgium. So for two days, he was moping around Venice, unshaven. We had to buy uh, all sorts of clothes to, to kind of put him together. And then when his luggage arrived, the audience, it's like a different emer- person emerged from the banyo. Naka slick back yung buho. Oh. Parang it's piano. Naka scar. Naka hope. Oh. Ako parang, oh wow, okay, right? Sayang naman. So, oh. we're so um, on our last day in Italy, uh, we decided to take a train to Florence and I thought, Ito na. Ito na. Florence, right? And we're gonna explore an old castle. Ito na yun. We get to Florence. We're having a really good time. And then, uh, what's it called? Then he goes, darling, I found a beautiful botanical garden. Let's go and watch the sunset there. And like, this is it. Uh-huh. Couldn't find the garden on the map. So I opened up my phone, paid for my data. Hinanap ko talaga yung garden. As in talaga, this way, this way. When we got to the garden, it was dilapidated. As in, Lock siya, it was overgrown, not maintained. So I was just so sad at this point. Na parang, why is this not happening? So we're on the train, we went back to Venice, and there's a mechanical error with the train, which caused us to be delayed an hour and a half. And if you've ever been to Venice, you, you know, it's all water. So you have to take a water taxi, which are Oops. scheduled. Um, so if you miss one, you wait another hour. So since our train got in late, we had to wait another hour and we missed our dinner reservation. So we were eating cold pizza on the water Sarah. taxi back to the hotel. And I was so sad. And I was like, maybe I read all of this wrong. Maybe he wasn't going to propose. Maybe I just thought this, right? And when we got to the hotel room, I changed. I didn't wear any of my cute pajamas. I wore my Winnie the Pooh with butas butas, my nightgown that I've had forever. And I climbed into bed. And then he goes, hey, I have something for you. And he hands me a paper bag, crumpled paper bag. It's John! Oh, so, expect. I grab it. I'm like, what is this? Is this chocolate? Like, and he's like, like, look on his face, like, change. Like, what's chocolate? Like, I don't think he realized what was ha- what I was thinking. And so I open it. I'm like, there's nothing in here. There's no chocolate. Just keep looking. Oh. And I pull, pull, pull out all this Japanese paper, and then I see the red box. Surprise! Oh. And so I'm like, Eto na ba <laughs> <laughs> And so, uh, maybe you want to share what you what you message, what you were saying? Well, uh, as I said a while ago, I just wanted to be truthful and honest. Uh, no frills. Uh, I wanted to be real as well. Uh, as much as I would have loved a public proposal with lights and fireworks and uh, dancing mob. But um, I realized, uh, I think, it would mean more if it was just really the two of us with no one watching or maybe God's watching uh, when I tell her that uh, I wanted to be with her for the rest of my life. So uh, she said yes, and we were both uh, very, very happy. I said yes. Then he goes, do you want to see the ring? And so I said, okay. So he then opens up the box and then I shut the box and he goes, why? What's wrong? I'm like, <laughs> wow, mahal. Magkano so, kaya yun? Hindi ka natatanong, pero magkano kaya yun? DM for price. <laughs> ah, wait, wait. Saan mo binili yung sing-sing na yan? A uh, friend of a friend. Uh, jeweler din naman. Uh, it was also a bunch of secret meetings trying to find like uh, the right one that I knew she liked. Also stealing some of her rings para I knew her size. But at the same time, uh, I didn't have to go through many motions. Because I already know that, by the way, if you're going to propose, this is the type that I want. This is the type that I want. That's it. 
Oh. So, nakuha ko naman ang the right middle. Uh, nakuha ko naman ang the right ring that uh, she loved. Okay. Well, did your family know that you were going to ask? Was that why that whole drama, that whole send-off? I told them, yes. Okay. I told yes. them, uh, don't tell Kata, but I'm going to propose to her. Uh, <laughs> don't oh, don't oh. tell Kata the whole time. Ganyan sila. Yeah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yun talaga ang sinasabi nila, mahaba man ang prosesyon sa simbahan rin pupunta. Okay, well, you know what? I mean, we we it's been fantastic so far. Um I'm sure that our viewers are going to want to know what happened next uh, about the wedding. So uh let's take a part two and let's see uh, leave them hanging for now. Um and uh, we'll come back with part two of the Christian and Cat Love Story. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Thank you.